I'm having a hard time saying no. I don't have a hard time saying no. I'm just having a hard time saying no to the people that I love, that I, I want to support and I want to be there for. And it's like trying to explain it to people that, you know, just haven't experienced it. It's just, you can't. This is the opening of my, by the time it comes out, two week vlog, but this is, today's Monday, May 27th. I just realized I forgot my heart rate watch. Starting off strong. <laughs> oh, throw the prep away. I'm struggling. It's not a judgment, it's just a fact. This is not fun right now. I'm not being dramatic. This is just a fact. I'm not enjoying myself. I am not as of now. What? Get your life together. I am not as of now looking to and a half weeks out. Mm. But I damn sure feel it. At this point, I just have to trust the process more than ever because what else are we gonna do we're already here we've already paid for everything so praying for a miracle to come through like I feel like I'll definitely be ready for a universe I don't know I think it's just the standards I set for myself I was trying to understand like why was I so hype last time? And I looked like this. And I was just, minus the more abs. And I was living. I think it's just because we made so much progress. And like Masters Nationals. No, it was Masters USA's in November was like a thought. But it wasn't like, oh, if I don't do it, it's the end of the world. Because we already knew that I was pretty tiny. But I don't know if it's just the standards I set for myself where I'm just like, I know I can be better than this. And I don't just want to do a show. That's just not my MO to just anything. Like when I come in, it's to search and destroy. Period. So, it's like having, you know, like an amazingly wrapped toy you open the the damn wrapper and you're like I can play with this for a while but it's not it's not fully giving what I needed to give to want it to stick around and I try you know I have the village SWB vlog squad all my people that watch this that are not a part of either who don't write me comments so I don't get to know you guys. I have the support. It's not a matter of support or accountability. The issue is just trash right now, like straight up basura. And I'm trying to keep my confidence up, my unconditional confidence up. And Brit has been monumental, instrumental in helping me do that. But I'm also realistic and it's not giving. The body is not giving. It's taking everything out of me, but it ain't giving shit back. As I mentioned, we are DIYing nails for this show. So I'm not a, I don't know if this is called like coffin kind of girl. Don't look at my own nails right now. So just making a little bit of an almond shape. Okay. 
Grateful for today's push. Introduce yourselves. Matthew. Exhausted. Tired. <laughs> this is what the elite do. <laughs> the elite do an hour and 50 minutes of cardio you did that. before 11.30 a.m. I love that, that for us. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'll make this quick. Push my gum to the side. I can't, I got stuff to say. Okay. Yo, community is everything. How people are out here doing life by themselves, I don't know. And look, people could knock Planet Fitness all they want. You know, it has its qualities about it I don't love. But the people that I've met, I, that's why I still go there in the morning for cardio because I just don't get that kind of community anywhere else. And these folks got on the stairs with me and did an hour. Then I went and stretched. Then I meditated. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to honor what I said. If my body's feeling good, I'm going to do more cardio. So I text him like, hey, I'm about to do more cardio about to dig in and they were still there and they came and did another 50 minutes with me and like I y'all know I'm in a very sensitive time like I almost wanted to cry because it was just like don't start crying again girl y'all watching the process that usually goes on inside my head this is the hardest part of prep I've probably ever had like in one breath, I'm like, damn, the shape is shaping. You're giving, you're eating, you're, yes. And then on the other hand, I'm like, you're fat. The fat is still there. It's too much. You're going to be dead. Last call out. See if six, like, literally being my own supporter and saboteur in the same breath. And that this morning just revived. I realized there's no, like, reset okay i'm reset today till show day no i need a freaking reset almost every other day that was the reset that i needed people that normalize what you do that support what you do i feel so damn good now in, in all of us is i read this weird verse i think it's in first corinthians 10 and it says jesus was the rock in the wilderness it's a really weird verse because <laughs> I've really been on my heart the last couple days and I just keep forgetting to message you. Um, so I'm glad that it came at the perfect time. And um, yeah, you're just remarkable. So I don't love that for you about the solitude in the cabin. And I just encourage you to turn off your phone, stare out the window, um, and be with yourself. and. Remember who who you are. All right, I'm focused now. You're just gonna have to lean in, babe. All right, so I was telling them about just how you've been in this last week. Just showing up and showing out for me. What? Let me show up you and put it on the right way. You got it, let's see. Definitely keeping this. Yeah. Shit. Well, first of all, well, no, because you you got this big ass shit on the back of your phone. Babe, no. Get the fuck it does work. What's your It's on. Yeah, it's not going to stay sideways. It's sideways. Look at it. 
No, it wasn't pushed in all the way. Yeah, before. I'm aware of that because it, look, it's going to be definitely. I can't see. Oh, no, I can't see. Just come in, get closer, get into it. snippets what did i say last time about um can you don't want no social media marriage you made that yeah. you're two for two right uh, now shoot uh no i think it's because i got the new job mm -hmm. which i'm probably gonna quit today um rightfully so literally like Hermes. well no matter what i do i'm a good guy like i can be difficult but like I want the best for people, but it's like for this job, I don't want it more than you, and I'm giving up my all. Um, and you guys are like not reciprocating, mm -hmm. and it's just it's like literally like I'm talking to five people, and we're not gonna give them they all energy have on like, my no, 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 they all have just the like, point is, we're kind anyway, of let it go. Um, let it go, Ooh, you know, me and I should go. Um, we're not have to realize no. I'm like, I know it's gonna take you a while to let it go, but yeah. you let go of the job, oh, yeah, but no, I think, uh. You know, I think um, that after having this job, I'm like, okay, I don't want this. And I, I don't want to be person home, you know? I mean, I like being home, but, like, I don't want to be, you know, home doing nothing, obviously. But becoming with this job, I need to, you know, I'm not going to be making this money, which, again, it wasn't even that great of money. Right. Especially for the bullshit they're giving me. But I digress. Um, but because of that, I'm like, well, I need, I'm obviously going to work on my own personal business and stuff like that and you know grow that but in the meantime we need to be uh i guess you could say more product not more productive but um if i'm not gonna be making that this money from the job and quitting i need to be doing something else to contribute more to said relationship and said household so um again i always contribute a decent amount you know um but now that I'm quitting, uh, I want to be able to, you know, make Aurelia's life easier. And then also, you know, she's in prep right now. So I think just putting forth more effort. And, you know, it was always there in me. I just, you know. Can you elaborate on when you said, um, sometimes I have to learn the hard way? I mean, I feel like that's pretty explanatory. Um, I guess me and I'm just another person who's like, I, may, I know a lot of things, I know right and wrong and all that kind of stuff, but I feel like unless I experience something, um, I'm not gonna, how can I phrase this? I need to learn it on my own or learn You're it. You're a rebel. I'm not saying a rebel, but like. You're a rebel. You don't like to be told what to do when it's wanted to be done. You like to do things when you want to do it. Yeah, I mean. There's good parts of rebels, because the yeah. opposite of a rebel, well, you have both sides. You have you have the rebel, but you also have an obliger. And so, like, as much as these people got on your nerve, you still felt obligated to do really good work and be as nice as possible and then bring all that crap home. So you have, like, two sides to you. Yeah. Um, which is good and bad. And, you know, I guess not, I guess not good. Kind of the situation. Yeah. Cause I'm just well, like, rebels won't just take anything face yeah. value. Yeah. Whereas obligers will because they feel obligated. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like because they're told opposite, it's just like hard to not function sometimes. But you know, it's like it's like oh, I'm rebellious, but I really want to you know make people happy. But it's like it's hard to. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's certain but I want to make people happy how I want to make people happy. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, Makes right. sense. Um. Um, but yeah, so I guess to make a long story short, I just, I need to, what do I want to say? Um, I, not like I'm a bad husband like that, but I, I want to at least contribute equivalent to if I was doing the job I was doing. Um, 
so until I get either my business more situated and more thriving or I get another job that I actually like like I sit work I have to work and I'm working right now I'm working more like I'm not I'm not a bum you know, you know I'm not I'm just not sitting, I'm not sitting around watching TV all day I mean, that'd be nice not really but uh, I just need something more stable um, and until then I'm you know putting more effort into um, you know helping the really out and fixing up the play you know the house and just you know being more so you know more supportive than I guess I was um, in the past when you know I guess life was slightly different so I would definitely say the word I think of is like consistency like you've been really consistent with helping and I think when you took that kind of pressure off of like I need to be making this now because things are coming up I mean it, that you even became happier you talk a bit more you talk a bit lighter than before and because you don't feel the, the guilt that you think I like that I'm feeling some sort of way mm -hmm. um, you know I can be very type A unless someone gives me a reason not to no you me? type you, A for Aurelia but you've given me a reason something. not to. <laughs> Type bitch. I mean, Type B for bitch. Your, your word's not mine, but I'll, I'll co-sign. Your word's not mine, but I'll, I'll co-sign. Co so oh, album about to drop. Shit. Alaska's finest, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we have arrived at our destination. Thank you for spending seven minutes and 23 seconds. Well, really six minutes and 23 seconds, but I like our little car fuffles. You look cute these fans. I normally do. It's my, my job. It's your go-to. Stuff. Okay. Tight, tight pants and like loose shirt. Stop or tongue -tongue. Mm -hmm. Apple Watch. Okay. Rings, wedding ring. Mm -hmm. Ring from oh shit, that's my ring from a former friend. Oh dang. <laughs> Hit him with the former. <laughs> Videographer, photographer, mm -hmm. clearly a model. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> right I'm about to head to bed. I got so much work done today. I got covered and supported and loved on by the besties, by SWV, by the vlog squad, by random people that didn't even know I needed it, by Bay, by my coach. It ain't over yet. If no one else is throwing in the towel, then I'm going to just use it to wipe up the sweat instead of Tomorrow, I'll pretty much have the day to myself. They booked a modeling job in San Diego. So I'm going to already start uploading this video so I don't deal with what I normally deal with, which is issues with my phone. I'm going to start clearing my phone out tomorrow and have a beautiful day. Uh, feedback from Coach. Like I said, he hates seeing me cry or sad or like he knows, you know, how bad I want this for myself, but also... I'm a teacher's pet, so, you know, I want to represent him, too. So, workouts are as is. Tomorrow, we're on low carbs. Really, no carb. I'm just call it no carb. I think tomorrow and the day after. Uh, but only 30 minutes of cardio in the morning for the next two days. That's it. And then the two days after that, we'll do two hours of cardio total. However, sorry, there is still glue in my eyes. Lashes from yesterday. Um, there's two hours total, Friday, Saturday, however we get it done. So I don't already reached out to my gym people, like, I'm going to need you, so come through. And I'll be checking in on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So maybe I'll put all three side by side so y'all can see uh, what my coach wants to see, which is if there's any difference in the 80 grams of carbs that I'm going to get on thursday and friday so and then we are officially two weeks out good morning i swear i don't wear the same clothes every day okay maybe i do but they're clean i just wear them to and from places it is tuesday may 28th uh, starting off this new protocol for the week 30 minutes light cardio is the only cardio for today. Rest day diet, which basically means no carbs. And it's a light day. Fun. So my goal is to not eat my first meal until 11.30 and then go hit the gym. So right now I'm about to do this cardio, finish up Andrea's video. 
said that I can get two Shantae's later. I saw Tony drop one. I think Lucy's dropping one Thursday. And some other folks I started following. So plenty of content. So the crazy part right now is that I just got overwhelmed. And Pepper knows that I'm leaving. So he too is outside the door overwhelmed. I'm having a hard time saying no. And I don't mean, sorry, I'm listening to a voiceover seminar. I don't have a hard time saying no. I'm just having a hard time saying no to the people that I love, that I, I want to support and I want to be there for. And it's like trying to explain it to people that, you know, just haven't experienced it. It's just, you can't. It's hard. And it's always when you're in the thick of it that everybody has something coming up. And I'm just, I don't know. I know they understand, but I just have a hard internal struggle with it. And I know it's for the betterment of them and me because my energy, you know, can be off. And I don't want to bring that to their events and stuff, but it's just hard. Anyway. I'm about to head to the gym and then come back, take Pepper out because he'll be a hysterical mess. And I'm just going to get some work done all day. So weird not having post-cardio because I was just crying. My contacts don't want to go in my eyes. Ah, there we go. All right, I'm going it upward. What's up, y'all? It is still... Tuesday, May 28th. Thought I was gonna take a nap, but I have not. Been having some really good conversations today. I really appreciate people's grace. And um, as I mentioned earlier, especially when it comes to like, it's always right around that crunch time for show when people have events and things, you know, you wanna show up for them, but you just can't and my friends really understood today i just want to share some of the things i actually got done today so i'm gonna just pat myself on the back so i feel like my vlog has been a little uh, granted i do not look two and a half weeks out that's neither here nor there it's just gonna take a miracle and we're just gonna lean on that um so for those that know i'm gonna be in new york for a while so i found my airbnbs two one for a month one for two months and they're both on the same block so i'm literally about to do that right now did some auditions, watched a voiceover seminar. I uploaded my prep videos to get ready for this week. I am on a bodybuilding podcast, so I sent the photo for that. I made a podiatrist appointment. I need to check. I have pretty flat feet. They're not terrible, but let me see. Let me get up here. Oh. Oh. Nope, you can't stop. Slide to the left. Nope. Okay. Just trust the process. They're flat enough. They're flattish. For a dancer, they're pretty flat. So I just want to go in and check, just make sure my feet are good. Do I need new orthotics? What's good? Um, what else did I do? Did some voiceover auditions. Worked on my, you know, my yes, mi español. Um, durante la mañana, porque tengo un reunión con mi profesor en diez, no, dos días, en jueves. Uh, I did some reflection, goal setting reflection for my group that I meet with on Thursday. So what's left, and honestly, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I didn't expect all this to happen. Prep an upcoming class in June. Prep my pitch meeting for tomorrow. Record some content. I don't, I don't, I don't see that happening. Uh, work on some stuff for FemFit Entrepreneurs. Follow us if you're not. We just finished season one. So get into it. Uh, continue working on the standard operating procedures for my business as I bring on a new assistant. Clear some email, stretch, meditate, listen to a sermon, do some Bible study, posing, look through my documents on my computer to clear them out if time permits, which really means energy. I got the time. Do I have the energy? I told you I was 100 pounds. Good morning, y'all. Today is Wednesday, May 29th, and I'm 100 pounds. Okay, I'm 104.4, I'm a pound down, 
but I'm 100 pounds because what we doing now, I had to pull out one of my old tricks, which is called radical manifestation. You see, manifestation is I will get that man. I will buy that car. I will take that vacation. Radical manifestation says, baby, it's already happening. I did it when I went to pursue Broadway. And did I get a contract in eight months? She sure did. So every day throughout the day, I'm gonna be talking as Amber calls him, Big Sandals. Me and Big Sandals gonna be talking, praying, and radical manifesting. I already am 100 pounds. Look at me. Oh, I can't see too high. Okay, I already am 100 pounds. You don't see them etched in abs? <laughs> I also was laughing because I was thinking about, um, I forgot what y'all named Brits. You know, I have my... um my sunglass stories. I forgot what y'all named hers. And I was laughing because I was like, I could never have had that name because that's all I do to get ready. <laughs> this be the shortest video of all time. But anyway, so right now, I'm, then I'm gonna go take Pepper out first and be a good boy. And then I'm going to go do my 30 minute light cardio. We gonna get this day popping, why? Are you hearing what I'm saying? What I'm saying, baby? If you love me, I got a word for the both of us. Love me, I got a word for the both of us. Put you in the driver's seat. I got a word in the middle of love. Would you ride with me? Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. The weight's going down and I'm gonna slay. All right. Oh, hi, baby boy. So, it's about, what time is it, baby? 6.30. I still have two meals left because I didn't eat until noon. I was in meetings. Um, finishing up a little drink. I have a meal and a half left. About to take the baby out and i just feel good like Britt was like welcome back my best friend tj was like welcome back i'm sure swv is probably like welcome back <laughs> um today's cackle was watching ben coils live with george and alex because it literally felt like a spades game in the bronx like and the one like black guy that comes from Massachusetts that has to like hold his own, but he's like not that black guy. Like he don't talk shit. <laughs> they were bullying him so bad, but he felt so at home. Anywho, Tony inspired me and I signed up for a chiropractor appointment and on Groupon, I was like, why am I going through my insurance? Groupon, um, I have a podiatrist appointment that same day just to check in on these flat feet as I told y'all or tried to show y'all, but I failed. Um, and yeah, just getting all the things ready. Talk with Amber today about hair stuff, makeup stuff for shows, and it's almost time. Ooh, baby, my car's so clean, I didn't even recognize it. Hey, girl. And we are off. Okay. Oh, I just feel so great. And I know y'all can tell the difference too. I feel like I haven't been funny in a while. And trust me, I don't try to be funny. I don't try to shuck and jive for y'all. I just be silly with it. I don't want to be exaggerating. But I just have not had it in me, friend. And I'm feeling the difference. People are noticing the difference. People are calling out the difference. They're like, okay, friend, we was going to let you do what you do. How long are you just going to do it? But come back to the world. And so here we are. Just had a great leg day. And I'm done for the day. All I have is my um, goal setting group tonight and I don't lead it. So I'm finna be fed tonight with some information, some knowledge, some wisdom, all of that. And I don't gotta do nothing, nothing, nothing. But be black and die, okay? So anyway, it's not really a story time, but 
What's wrong with shades? Is there a story time? I don't think so. But what I will say is, <laughs> contrary to what my Airbnb app says, I do not like traveling. No, okay, let me not say that. I need to stop saying that. Uh, you know how you say foodie? Like, what's the uh, the travel equivalent to that? Like, this Amazon box is going to drive me. Sorry, we got to do that. Uh, I Travel is not important to me. Traveling. People are important to me. People love to travel. Or people are in places where I am not. So, therefore, I will travel. So, contrary to what my Airbnb, my Airbnb thing says, oh, you finna be on the run. You finna Beyonce out here. Yes. So, I've decided... June 2nd to the 4th, which by the time you're watching this, it might be that. I am currently in the woods. The f sorry. I'm so sorry. GMs. I think the new GMC models don't have signals and they just turn when they want. And I dare you to do it again. Get in your lane, Bumba Clot! Sorry. And he's wasn't even it wasn't even turning that was a terrible accent i'm from new york i have a much bumba clot okay give me that okay i don't want none of my none of my jamaicans to come for me okay okay i grew up with all my jamaicans so I, I got voice i call it voiceover patois okay when i when i need to use it i use it but it ain't it's lost its touch i ain't lived there since uh oh three bear with me i don't know why bumba clot is the first thing that came out my maybe i thought i didn't want to curse so then I could have went with something Spanish. Maricon. But I said I wanted Bumba Glad. Anyway, why are we still talking about this? Ooh, ranting. Uh, the whole point is June 2nd to the 4th, I will be in the woods, like 20 minutes from my house. Not even far. Yes, I'm paying for a staycation 20 minutes from my house. Somewhere in the woods, phone off. Well, I'll keep it on, you know, the killer. But inaccessible to the world. So I will be putting on my vacation thing on my emails because I literally don't want to see email. like I don't like if my agent needs me I'm gonna tell them to call me because I'm gonna be ghost honey then we have our show my show which is in San Diego so that's a quick trip but we are Airbnb -ing it and then we have universe Jersey Airbnb -ing it right by my parents house so exciting then we have the SWV trip I'm also excited about uh, that's gonna be a good time and then we have oh no I'm going to New York for a day peak week don't judge me judge mama it's the same thing as if I was going to universe I would have had to travel regardless but I get back Tuesday I'm taking a red-eye Sunday and then I get and so a red eye is basically, you know, like I don't, I do well on flights. Like I don't retain, I don't, I don't have all that issue. I do well. And then I'll come back Tuesday and then we have Wednesday, Thursday, drive down Friday. Adam will drive down Friday. I'll do the drive back and we'll have that. So recap, Woods, <laughs> you know that video? Something, check, something, check. Woods, check. New York, check. San Diego, check. Uh... New Jersey, check. SWV Vancouver, check. Uh, what's after that? Oh, we don't know. Masters National, question mark. USA's, question mark. Uh, back to New York, check. For a long time. But let them give me two days off somewhere in there. Don't think I won't be somewhere. Mm -mm. So I'm excited about that. I still need to get an Airbnb for two of the three months that I'll be in New York. But it's also very early. Where early bird gets the worm. So at least I have a place for when I land. That's all I needed. So right around top of July, I'll restart my... I should have put that signal on earlier. I'm so sorry, Mr. Red Car. I'll do better next time. Oh, she's still alive. The dog, not the woman. Maybe the woman too. Anyway, that was a six-minute rant brought to you by excitement good morning y'all time is 5 45 in the morning we are dropping sir adam off Five 
days. I would say Pepper and I are going to have a party, but Pepper's going away as well. <laughs> You're going to miss me. He said he likes traveling with me, y'all. He likes sending me up high hills in my white tennis shoes with my dog. <laughs> I said, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It is still Friday, May 31st. <laughs> I legit, what, what car is this? What are you doing? I legit thought that I could sneak out, not sneak out, but I was gonna, Pepper was gonna be in the bed and I was gonna be like, all right, baby, be a good boy. And I went to tie my shoe and I looked up and he's just staring over me like, where do you think you're going? Oh, he was so upset. He said, first, my diddy left me. No diddy. My daddy left me. And now you're leaving me? And I have to leave him twice today. And I realized, dang, Adam about to be doing this for the next three, for, not the next, but for three months. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> Anywho, I'm more awake now. I basically stayed fasted didn't drink anything until i got back home because i was like i ain't weighing myself until the time that i normally get up which i still ended up weighing myself about 30 minutes early but we had that new low so what's up so i'll be checking in i checked in yesterday checked in this morning checking in tomorrow so y'all getting all these videos y'all getting Everybody moving okay you need to slow down y'all getting all these cheeks um, oh, and as y'all saw, what, what are y'all doing? What is happening? I think part of my road rage is knowing that I'm on camera. No, nah, probably not. I'd probably do the same thing. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I DIY, one day I'll get this right. I DIY'd my suit. Cause I think when I went to buy it, the posting suit, one, I'm not gonna be competing for a while. So I was like, I'm not about to drop $4,000 on what my dad calls dental floss. I'm not about to do it. Um, so I had bought one a while ago, a little pineapple one. I love that one, but it has the twisty tie things on the side. I can't stand it. So we got creative and it worked. I mean, my suit was flipped out a bit when I checked in, but he seemed worse, so it'll be fine. So I'll be waiting for his response. He said, I think he was basically determining, he's determining if today's a rest day meal and I'm resting, but tomorrow's maybe a leg day. I'm not, I can't remember. I think it's like back down or something. And um, he said he would see what he would give me, that I might get food on Saturday. I don't know if my weight is going, I, I can't think right now. I know there's a method to the madness, but I can't think right now if it's, if the weight is down, then he'll give me food. If it's up, then he won't, I don't, what, you know what I'm saying. So whichever one happens, that's what I'll be doing uh, based on today's check-in. So we'll see, but I do miss cardio. I don't miss two hours of cardio, but, oh, poor car, but I do miss cardio. So I have my cardio gang. We text each other. We're already meeting up right now at 7. Well, we're supposed to meet at 7.30, but we all running a little late. I started cleaning the house already. Adam has gone till the 5th. 
I already started rearranging, moving stuff. I'm like, perfect timing. Sorry, I do this very illegal thing where I go into a lane that doesn't exist and we see who lets me over. Thank you. So New York. Anywho, let's go get this cardio popping. I don't even know what I have today. I think I have two clients. A half hour one and an hour one. I think that's it. I missed y'all today. So much has happened. Not really. I pretty much checked out the hotel early. So meaning everything else that I was supposed to get done today, I'm like, eh, we'll see. I've already checked out. Cardio, as you know, was amazing. Matthew, his name is Bust Down, Bust Down Mathiana on Instagram. Uh, he met up with me. He was running late too. So we got there together and then he did, he was going to just do 40 minutes, which was my hour. But since he felt so inspired, he said, let me go do another 20 on the treadmill and finish his hour. So I just love when we push each other to be our best. It's incredible. And I met a girl who I swear probably lives in this building right next to me. And she has a dog and she just started talking to me, asking me questions about cardio. And then of course, you know, we get into the whole bodybuilding thing and there, that, there goes that uh there goes the next 40 minutes keeping my heart rate up by talking to me so that was great um and then i talked to y'all no i talked to y'all on the way came back pepper was not happy cursed me out completely we went out he was better still cursing me out but still better uh he's been at my hip okay can we get out the street He's been at my hip, so I had to send him to the neighbor's house while I go do cardio. What this? What is happening here? What is this festival? Oh Lord! Are you? In Hold, please. Okay, we're back. Everybody trying to get on the highway. Mm -mm. They're going away for the weekend. So dropped Pepper off downstairs. I had two client meetings. I forgot I had another meeting. I told y'all I checked out early. So she emailed like, um, you, we meeting? And I was like, oh, I forgot. So let's do it again. I got my check-in from my coach. He was very happy. He was like, look at those abs. I'm confident. I can tell in your smile that you're kind of like, he was just boom, bam. The loom video was giving me, it was giving me everything I needed sent it to Bestie, sent it to SWV. They was giving me my flowers, said the booty was booting. I was like, oh, you know, I did a few squats in my day. So that was really cool. Um, who's holding up traffic now? It's the red car. It's the red car. I don't have time to do my legal stuff today. Meaning turn in there. Don't don't try to don't call the police. Um, but he was so happy, and I'm so happy. He did say I forced my my weight a little bit because I came home an hour later and then weighed myself. But I don't care. He was like, but just don't. If you go up tomorrow, don't be surprised if it's higher because you kind of forced it. And I'm like, like a ponytail, like friendships. Did I force it? Oh, it's okay. It still felt good. Oh, I'm ashy. Uh, what else? I talked to the bestie, SWV. Um, talked to my mama. They ain't got time for me. They out here. My parents are retired teachers, 25 years. They out living their best life. We go and sit and watch the Denver Nuggets play at a bar. They fly to Denver. Okay. <laughs> Goals. Um, Adam is gone, so it's a party in a crib. I'm already renovating. <laughs> I've already changed up the cabinets. I've, I've already poking holes in the wall. Like I'm just doing things. Uh, Cause that's what we do when the other person's not there. And so now I'm gonna do another hour of cardio, core. I might go to Home Goods, but I don't need to buy nothing. I just pay bills. I don't need to buy nothing, but we'll see. And yeah, feeling good. All right, congregation. We are gathered here today. 
second hour of cardio complete gonna go pick up the crazy boy and i am hungry i didn't realize i haven't eaten since 11 30 so i dropped the boy off got here did core first i've been doing core four days a week did core first and then did my uh cardio oof i'm winded and i'm hungry but i'm hungry uh, for victory Lord, what am I gonna do tonight? It's those moments where you're like, yes, Bay is not here. And then you're also like, so what am I supposed to do with my life? I have to figure that out. Y'all nephew got me on a long walk I did not plan for. Tonight is the true test of all tests because I don't get carbs today, but my husband's not here to stop me. Something else I was thinking about in my goal setting group this week, uh, my co-leader asked the group, what did they take away from in the last session? Because he wasn't there. Thank you. He wasn't there and I was leading it. And one of the girls said that I don't do enough. And he said, what made you say that? It's like, because of everything that Aurelia does. And it, it's been uh, renting free space in my mind all week that like, there's these two sides of me. There's one part of me that's like, oh, I'm not gonna be the next Tabitha Brown. I'm gonna be the next Aurelia Michael Holmgren. Like, I'm going all the way to the top, wherever God wants to take me so I can be on the highest platform so people can stand on my shoulders and tell me how beautiful the view is. And then there's another side of me that's like, I just really want a basic life. <laughs> I don't wanna run my own business. I just wanna chill. The, when you own your own business, like the, I don't want to say the grind, because I'm not out here grinding. Don't, don't get that confused for a second. We left that life behind a long time ago. But it is a 24-7, like you, you run the ship. You make sure the ship, it may be on autopilot, but you still got to at least look out the window every once in a while. So I really want to take these next few days, like tonight I'm going to go down to my neighbors and just chill. We might watch a movie, we might not, we'll talk, whatever, like, it can't be all work, work, work. Especially when right now I don't have the energy to work, work, work. All I have the energy to really do is chill. So, just the constant uh, back and forth that goes on in the brain of this woman. Alright, I'm going to officially close the vlog. Oh, am I talking to you? Don't wink at me, boy. Mind your business. Shade. The shade. Anyway, Adam is gone. Pepper is sad. He had a little accident today. It's really like having a kid. Nowhere near as tough. But... Mm, I'm lonely. The bed is empty. Um, but I'm going to put this up so that tomorrow is officially two weeks out.